Hey, what's going on? This is Andre from AndreSanders.net. You can't get something for nothing. This is something that I've read several times rereading a lot of books from Napoleon Hill. Right now being in the middle of the book of the Master Key to Riches. And he's mentioned that. He's mentioned that also too in The Law of Success and also Think and Grow Rich. Is you know You can't get something for nothing as far as you got to put in some type of work to get whatever type of result that you're looking for. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes the results might not be what you're looking for. Sometimes it might be more than what you're looking for because of maybe from just past experiences, uh, just going over uh, learning from different failures, mistakes, i.e. Thomas Edison when he's coming up with the, you know, with the light, light bulb. You see what I'm saying? Um, and sometimes it, it just might take a while for the results. But you got to do something. You got to have some type of service. It's it's like when uh, people you know want to start a business, I notice this a lot in the home based business profession, they treat it like a lottery ticket. You know, they just think, okay, I'm gonna get in and I'm gonna have a million dollars the next day. Really? <laughs> really? As far as, you know, if you want to go and just say purchase a franchise, like a subway franchise, do you really think you're gonna be able to become uh, become uh, you know, a millionaire the next day. See, sometimes true business owners will understand that it takes a while for them to get their investment back. You know, especially traditional uh, business owner. Same thing like owning a franchise. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it takes like uh, a few years just to get that uh, that initial investment back. And at least in the home based business profession, you can get the um, your initial uh, investment back. I'll say quickly. It's not guaranteed. Sometimes it might take longer, uh, but for the most part, compared to traditional to traditional businesses, it will be a little bit sooner. It depends on uh, if you're willing to work or not, you know. So I can't put any guarantees on that. But again, it comes down to you know rolling up the sleeves and choosing to work. And it's also to Napoleon Hill's mention as far as really implying uh, that this that that entitlement mentality as far as that like, you know some people expect a handout. No, 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 you got to go and actually work to get something. And it's unfortunate that that's really what he was implying. <laughs> you know, this over oh, his mission as far as, you know, you got to basically do render some type of service, you know. And uh, Kiyosaki's Rich Dad mentioned that several times in his uh, Rich Dad books as far as always be a service for uh, for people, you know. He, he, used to, he mentioned flat out one time, he's like, you want to make a lot of money? <laughs> find a way to serve more people. Jim Rohn mentioned that too as well, you know, find a way to serve the many. It just comes down to serving, you know, giving it something of service. It doesn't matter if you're a small business owner, you know, you're in real estate, uh, whatever type of business it is. It's always a, something that you're doing to uh, some type of service that you provide to people. And then over time, the income will come. You see what I'm saying? When it comes, I have no idea. But again, you can't come out there expecting just a handout uh, without, obviously, without obviously putting some type of work in. So something that, uh, you know, it was kind of a... A thought that, again, I've read so many times, but that's really, I think, personally, when Napoleon Hill was implying as far as getting rid of that uh, entitlement mentality and just going about, you know, just obviously finding some way to serve. You know, whatever type of venture that you choose to do is going to be some type of service that you're going to be providing. So if you got value for what we shared here, I'd love to read your comments below. I like and share this video. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.